Stem cell harvest is a medical procedure uh, during which stem cells from the bone marrow are extracted and harvested. Stem cells are a unique type of uh, cells which are found in the bone marrow of patients. And they're unique because these cells have the ability to const constantly regenerate and the ability to grow and differentiate or basically transform into the different types of cells which are found within the bone marrow. So your red cells, your different types of white cells and even your platelets. Bone marrow stem cells are generally harvested for patients who either need to receive an autologous stem cell transplant or for patients who need an allogeneic stem cell transplant. Before a patient undergoes a stem cell collection, uh, the first phase is that a patient is assessed and made sure that they are fit for donation. And this includes a general physical assessment as well as a certain blood tests to make sure that they do not have any uh, active infections. The stem cell harvest is divided into two phases and I'll talk about the first phase first which is the mobilization. Mobilization basically refers to the process in which we stimulate the bone marrow so that the stem cells in the bone marrow are, are start leaking out into the blood such that we can harvest them using the machines that we have. How we stimulate the bone marrow and mobilize the bone marrow can differ depending on the patient or depending on whether it's a donor. Uh, in many patients, sometimes we actually give it uh, after they've had a course of chemotherapy, we actually stimulate the bone marrow and harvest it off the back of that. However, for donors, generally speaking, the process involves them receiving a series of five injections on consecutive days. Uh, the injections they receive is of a particular drug called GCSF. And this is a growth factor hormone that is normally produced in our body in much smaller quantities. We give larger quantities of this injection to stimulate the bone marrow to make sure that we can get a good harvest. This injection is given subcutaneously, as in usually into the tummy, into the fat there, and is given on the same time every day, usually in the mornings. Uh, after a period of five days, most patients uh, or donors can notice some mild side effects, including mild flu-like symptoms or bone pains, and sometimes a low-grade fever. And once you complete the five days of injections, our patients are then admitted into hospital to undergo the stem cell harvesting. 